Now that everything is ready, we're going to learn how to save the form data inside the database and using the same request, how to upload the attachments and the photo of this employee. I'm going to my controller. As you see here, I have created a function called create employee. And this function is used here inside a partial view. Inside the create employee function, first of all, I create a reference to the MP4M object. Then I create a form data object and call it FD. Now I'm going to append all these values that need to be sent to the server to the FD object one by one. When I append the photo, I need to append the first element of the photo underscore file array. And for appending the attachments of the form to the FD object or form data object, I need to iterate among all the attached files and create a key for each one. I call this key file name. Then I call the append method with two parameters. The first one is the key and the second one is the value. So in here, the file name is the key and the file itself is the value. Now I need to extend my service and add another function to it. I add another function to this service object. I call this function save multiport form data and this function is going to receive three parameters. The first parameter is the segment. The second parameter is the data which needs to be sent to the server and the third parameter is a callback function which needs to be called later. Inside the body of this function, first of all, I'm going to create an instance of the HTTP service. For the configuration of the HTTP service, I set the method to post the URL to the concatenation of the address and the segment, the data to the data which comes as a parameter the transform request to angular.identity and the header is, is going to be an object with content type as undefined. Now I call this then function of the request. I give it an anonymous function as a parameter and this anonymous function receives one parameter that is called the response and this response comes from the server. Inside the body of this anonymous function, I call the callback function and I pass the response which comes from the server as a parameter or as a value to this callback function. 
I copy the name of this function and go to my controller. Here, inside the create employee function of the controller, I call that function. I pass three values to this function. The first value is the value of the segment, which is going to be Savior. The second value is going to be the form data object. I mean the data which needs to be sent to the server. And the third parameter is going to be an anonymous function. I mean this is the callback function which needs to be called inside the service function. I copy this value and go to the employee.php file. Here, I check for another condition. Inside the body of this condition, I need to create an associative array. I call this array data and I need to add as many keys to this array as needed. The first key to this array is going to be full name and this key is exactly the full name that you see here. And for the footer, I need to write some lines of code. Now for the footer. Here, first of all, I need to get the temporary name of the footer. Then the real name of the footer or the name of the photo after that i need to create the upload path of the photo i mean the place where the photo needs to be uploaded and finally I should call the move underscore uploaded underscore file function of PHP, which receives two parameters. The first parameter is the temporary name of the file, which needs to be uploaded. And the second parameter is the upload path of the file, which needs to be uploaded. Now, I add another key to the data associative array, and I set this index of the data associative array to the value of the foodo variable. I must iterate among all files and find the attachments of the form and upload them to a specific folder. And using a for loop, we can iterate among all files which come to this employee.php file. If you remember, this string is exactly the same as this string, and the key is concatenated to this string. So, this line of code is exactly the same as this line of code. Now here, 
I say if such a file is set In here, I create a PHP array. I call this array files and set it to the value of the file variable for all iterations of this loop. Here, I add another key to the data associative array and I call it files and set it to the files array. Now I create an object of the employee class and call its save method. I pass the data associative array as a value to the save method of the employee class. This save method has been created inside the employee class, as you see here. Inside the body of this method, first of all, the value of the files index of the data associative array is stored into another variable called files. After that, a connection to the database is created. Then, the value of the is master or above key of the data associative array is stored into another variable called is master or above. Then an insert query is created. Inside the try block, first of all, a transaction is started. Then a statement is created and the parameters are bound to this statement and the statement is executed. Then a query is executed to fetch the max ID of the employees table. The names of all the attachments are inserted into the attachments table. Then the transaction is committed. And finally, the statement and the connection are closed. So now, if the try block succeeds, this method returns true to its calling method. Otherwise, if there is an exception, the transaction rolls back and the method returns false to its calling methods. Now, I go back to my controller here, inside the body of this anonymous function, I check if the response dot data equals one. I say alert saved successfully. In this line of code, I need to put a capital D here, since this designation ID must equal this designation ID. I close it, I save the changes, go to the browser, fill out the contents of this tab, and now I'm going to register another employee. I fill in this form.
When I hit the save button, I see that the data has been saved successfully. If I now check the database, the attachments table, I see that three records have been created here. And also one record has been created inside the employees table. Now I check the attachments and photos folders. I see that the attachments and the photo of this employee has been uploaded successfully as well.